Hey everybody, it's Eileen. Um, I feel a little discombobulated today, so hopefully you can bear with me. I'm home, but I'm not really feeling home yet. It was a long weekend, so um, I hope you're not hearing. I have to put my little little cover on my mic. How is everybody doing today? Let me see if there is anybody there. So welcome if you are coming in from YouTube or Facebook. Ah, uh, I see three, six people. Hi. Ah, uh, I don't know. I just can't get my wits about me today. <laughs> I've been back a day, but um, hey, Kelly. I just sent you an order. Thank you. Donna, I see Donna. So this is cool. On the side, I can see if you're from Facebook or YouTube. I can see the comments. So hello, everybody, and welcome. I hope you had a great weekend. Hi, Lady Fair, Pauline, Jody, Angie, Loretta. Hey, guys, can you hear an echo? I kind of do, but I turned it down as low as I can. Ken. Hi, Laura. Um, I feel like I have never done this before. <laughs> I hope it's not going to be like this every time. Anyway, I am back from our long trip to New York. Hey, Beth and Jane, Lisa, Leslie, Lietta, Michelle. Well, yeah, I saw it. saw Loretta. Yeah, I'm um, I'm doing okay, but I'm just like slow. I'm not not coming back like I thought. I've been trying to do things like laundry, and you know, basic things, but I've been um, talking to a bunch of people. Anyway, I'm here, but my brain may not all be here. So, um, yeah, I am. I'm a little tired, Laura, even though on Sunday we went down, to, we left New York. We went down to the beach because we have people renting at the end of the month. And we wanted to check it. And so we um, drove down to Delaware, which was, well, Turned out to be longer because we got a ferry, which was fun. That was like a little mini vacation. It was great. Then we went to the beach, straightened up, and then we drove home, which was another three hours. So it was just long. Okay. Hi, Marion. Oh, I know you can't sleep here. <laughs> I understand. I know this is so late. Hi from Fairbanks, Karen, Hank Lum, Anna, Yan. You were a slug today, had to nap, <laughs> Leslie. I felt like it, but I didn't do it. Anyway, what I want to show you today, I've been kind of working on all day. And in my brain, I just, I it worked. And then <laughs> I went to do it. It didn't work so well. Not like you've never seen that before. But um, I had this idea to do a folio for cards using the um, journal, the folio journal, which mechanically it works. Hey, Barbara. Hi, Sheena and Gulzan, Elaine, Anne. Um, I do have some fun things to open, but I haven't quite gotten to that yet. I also did some things yesterday that were totally mindless, like making closures and pages for the book that I made last week out of the leather, which just is so, so pretty. Um, so this is, I didn't do anything to this one. Remember this? It's beautiful. Some of you ordered it, so you should be getting it soon. I mailed everything yesterday. That was the other thing I did. So I closed this. I dyed some elastic, and I just wanted to let you know it works really well. I used um, my blends inks, and just, you know they're pigment inks, so the color was like exactly perfect. So I just made some pages for this journal. Actually, I had an idea for what I want to do with this, but I haven't done it yet. So it's kind of a little accordion, which I want to use it to store some alphabet, some letters that I have. So I'll do that another day. But um, this came out really pretty cool. And I do like the flexibility that the leather gives that you can adjust this. This is the wrap journal and you can make whatever size really, uh, as long as these two don't you know, meat, you're pretty much, you can go pretty far with this. And then the other one I did was the red one. And 
I just made little pages for that one, which was kind of satisfying. So now I have working, working little books. Yes, Karen, they do. I mean, I love, hey, there's Mitziana. You just received the book binding die. What's the extra piece for? This piece right here, Sheena, that is a piece that can go on the side of the page if you want to make a tab or just decorative, or if you, when you do the binding, if you just want to kind of have it end with more of a design, you could put that at the end. It's for whatever you want. You're tucked up in bed watching. Good, Cindy. That sounds so cozy. Um, next Tuesday, I go for my second shot, and I'm not sure how that's going to go. Hopefully, it's at 1245. Hopefully, I can uh, make it, but just telling you right now, it might be bad. I don't know. Um, but I'll try. I mean, I'm planning on it. But. Um, I also did a couple other little things. This was one of them. Remember how we embossed it? And, you know, the lighting in here. Wait, let me see if I can get my light on. Because you really can't see. There. This is copper. The uh, copper lust or the rose gold wax. Luster wax. I don't know. I'll, I'll do it when I lay the thing down. It really did give it a pop. All right. So this is done on the, oh, wait, maybe that's better. This is, <laughs> you can see my light. This is done on, when I embossed it on the right side. And then here it is. I didn't like it as much, so I didn't keep doing it. It didn't give the detail. So that is what it looks like on the back where I really did like the print and the pattern. Look at all the detail that came out on that. So anyway, I was playing with that a little bit, but I'm just trying to warm up. Ugh. Anyway, all right, well, um, let me show you one that I did get to work. And I did this one a while ago. Let me put my books in here on my cards. This actually was is very easy. I'll tell you how I did it. And I had also this little piece. Now, this is kind of what I was thinking about at first. And then I thought, oh, what if I do a gatefold, which messed everything up. So, hey, Chris, you're having a nice coffee and relaxing. That sounds good. Okay, so this is as simple as it could be. Okay, this is the book the folio journal, I just didn't fold it. I just die cut it and I didn't fold these tabs over. Okay, so they were just straight. And I did a three, you know, the three ring bind or whatever you want to call that. And then, so I had long, long pages. And then I just tied a ribbon and I tied my, my little cards in. And then this is the post box, and I was going to attach that uh, and have that for pens or whatever. I look great on the big TV screen. That is scary, Chris. Oh, we ate over the weekend. It was, you know, it was okay. I think I think we sent Vince off in a way that he would like. It was nothing that fancy. It couldn't be. I was surprised that we could even have a funeral and um, go to the grave and all that. And we did, and it was very nice. And um, so, you know, I think that's good. But then now we're kind of trying to figure out what mom will do because they're in a big house, you know, and she really doesn't need all that room or the stairs. And so we're um, trying to make a plan for that with her thoughts, of course. But, uh, you know, we're going to be helping her so we need to kind of be in on it too so anyway I think that's why my brain is just like uh what are we gonna do so it'll be fine but um she may be appearing on my videos soon <laughs> anyway uh so this is what I kind of started with and it works you know and I could just tie a nice little ribbon here and it would be fine but um but no, I couldn't do that. I had to try something else. So 
I also have some nice happy mail. I'm going to open that uh, in a little bit when we turn the camera down and then I don't have to worry about it. Yes, it has made it hard. I uh, I feel bad for the people who couldn't have funerals. It's like it didn't really happen. You know, it's just so weird. It's weird anyway. Funerals are just so unusual. I mean, you're not doing it every day. And then everybody does it different. You know, that would make a great watercolor brushes and paper holder. Yes, it would, Leslie. Well, now you could maybe do it from this. I did figure it out, but it takes a little measuring. And then my closure, that's kind of what I want to see if it works. Because I had an idea for using a magnet, which I can't find it. It's here somewhere. So anyway, um, you know what? I think I will, well, let me just open it now. Okay, so this is from Sheena Watson. So let me open this. I got this on right before I left, I think, and it was so nice. It's really taped up here. Let's see. All right, Sheena. I'm going to open live stream your mom's service. Oh, yeah, that would have been good. They didn't have that option. And really, we had a lot of people. I mean, that didn't stop people. They came. So that was good. We didn't have all my siblings, but my sister came so she could be with mom on Monday. So she's in North Carolina. So. She wasn't there, my brother, but aside from that, our family and the kids and all the grandkids. I mean, she was happy to see everybody. Not all the grandkids, but a lot of them. Okay, Sheena, I'm working on it. Technology, yeah. I was worried enough I had to do a reading and I was praying I wouldn't cry. I didn't, but it was close. <laughs> All right, what did Sheena send? Now it's double wrapped. Let's see. I can kind of hear myself in my phone, but hopefully you guys aren't hearing. I always get nervous because I don't want to wrap, I don't want to cut anything in. Oh, the napkins! Oh. These must be like, oh wait, let's see. I mean, aw, hi, pretty lady, just a wee gift as a thank you for all you do. Enjoy the Scottish napkins. Okay, because I'm like, what does that mean with these cute little hearts? Thank you, Sheena. Great memory, that's pretty. Oh, that doesn't look like napkins. There's something in there. What a cute little bag. Oh, 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 it's little ephemera. Look at that. Oh, wait a minute. That's beautiful. Butterfly. The lighting is bad. I'm not sure where to direct it. Oh, that's so, oh, look at this. Oh, mushrooms, Karen Beers. She's on a mushroom craze. Look at this little lady. They're like paper dolls, kind of. They all have the little tabs. So you can kind of wrap things. And these pretty birds. Thank you, Sheena. That's so nice of you. A little tiny envelope. It's adorable. I'm going to keep this stuff together. Uh-oh, I see a little Scotty dog. <laughs> Like my trailer. Oh, look at this. <laughs> and that one, he looks a little worried. He's like, what? <laughs> what else? Oh, look at these. Pretty. That's pretty, Sheena. Thank you. That's so thoughtful. And tartan. Gotta have that. Aw, there's another one. That's pretty. Yeah. And this one has, I don't, oh, chuffed. I kind of think I know what that is. I was chuffed. That's not good. Drake. All right. You guys tell me. I have no idea. Scunner. Uh, 
Did I get oot the bed the wrong side the day? <laughs> How do you guys think of this? Bluttered. <laughs> no. Or bluter ed? I don't know. <laughs> I have no idea what that means. It doesn't sound good though. <laughs> Stoder? Leather? <laughs> you guys, you crack me up. I need to watch some more Scottish TV. But Jamie on Outlander doesn't say that stuff. That was a long time ago. <laughs> oh, Chuff means pleased? Oh, okay. I got that wrong. See, Chuff would be like, we say kind of in a huff. So somebody's mad or like, pff, well, you know, Bluter is drunk. That could, that makes sense. We'll need translations. <laughs> okay. Pleased or happy. I was thinking going to the program. Well and true and bluttered. Yeah, that's pretty good. That sounds like what it is. That that sounds pretty good these days. <laughs> we did have whiskey sours in honor of Vince and Dad, because he liked them too. Thank you so much, Sheena. That was so nice of you. Oh, I'll have to use these. Maybe in my book. Huff is stroppy or mad. Okay. We say in a huff too. Okay. That does seem pretty self-explanatory. All right. Now, one from Janice Sigmund. All right. I think she made this envelope and it looks pretty uh, strong. Let me get my die pick. Let me get under there. Look at her writing. Is that beautiful? I love it. All right, this is strong paper here. How are you guys doing? I feel like I'm so sorry I have been off the grid with with um being in the group and and I um I don't know I feel out of it but I'm sure I'll get back in. I would love to go to Switzerland, Sema, but I never have. Yes, whiskey sours. Yes, we did. Oh, look at this. Oh. Oh, that's so nice, Janice. Oh. Wishing you my heartfelt sympathy as you remember your step stepdad and a life well lived. Thank you so much. I haven't gotten a card. <laughs> I was giving cards. Thank you. Thank you so much, Janice. That is so thoughtful. It looks like washi tape and this cute little prayer card. Look at that. that could go in the pocket of a book. Oh, this is pretty too. Oh, I believe in angels too. Vincey, I mean, he is, I think he's fine. He's 90, he was 95. He had a great life. He, you know, I'm not worried about him. It's my mom now. And I mean, I'm sad that he's gone, but he had been kind of going downhill you know but it's it's hard anyway mom will be fine she's doing really well yes thank you so much janice that was very thoughtful all right okay the other thing we have to do is we have to give out the prizes all right let's see let me go to my banners Hang on. Are you guys ready? Do you want to know who won? All right. Let's see. The first one is... All right. Now, I hope you're here, Lori, because I don't have your real name. Lori Camper, 063. She was on the blog hop, and she left a, a um, comment on all of the blog posts. So Lori is the winner of our blog hop prize and all of the prizes are $25 in my Etsy store so contact me and I'll tell you how to get it okay and you can order $25 worth of stuff isn't that exciting okay you ready for the next one Sharon Betts you win for the Facebook live section okay so let me know um what your email is, that's probably the best way, or 
I don't know. Just message me. We'll figure it out. Okay. Congratulations, Sharon. And the last one is Elma Dawahoya. So I will put this out later and I'll tag everybody. I'll put it in the fan club and on my page. So just let me know the winner, you know, just contact me and I will let you know how to do this. Cause last time it was a little tricky, but I think I figured it out. Oh, okay. Wait a minute. Winners will receive $25 gift certificates. So we'll figure it out how to do it. Okay. Everybody. Thanks so much for um, playing along and, and watching our Facebook live. It was a marathon. It was two hours. It was crazy. So, all right. That is, I think, all I have to announce. Oh, we will be doing our Fan 5 on Friday. So I will be messaging or I'll be emailing everyone. I think I have everyone's email. If not, I'll message you to get your email because I need to email you a link so you can go into this, this uh, platform here. And then we can have our little chats. Okay, on Friday, and I hope all of you come. It's going to be at noon, so you won't have to be in bed. You can be awake. <laughs> all right, so that's happening. And then on Wednesday, no, what, Thursday, I'm doing um, a little interview with Coast to Coast in Canada. I met her at uh, CHA, so I'll let you know what that, all that information is too, okay? All right. Um, don't forget to join the fan club and remember to answer the questions if you want to join. And we now have 5,600 people in our group and you guys are amazing. You're just like posting stuff right and left and I love seeing it and um, you're very impressive. So thank you for being there and, um, you know, if you are not in it and you want to be, Go ahead. Also, another thing, I don't know if uh, everybody knows this, but if you want to see old uh, Facebook Lives, they are on my page, my Eileen Hall Designs page on Facebook. And if you go up to the top, there's a little bar, and you click on more, and then it'll say videos, and then it's going to bring you to all the videos. There's hundreds of them. So if there's anything that you want to figure out how to do, you can go in there. I know that it's not the most organized. I'm trying to move stuff over, like the most um, requested videos to put them on YouTube, but it kind of takes a little while. So, um, you know, maybe I'll get to it. But if not, you can go in there and check that out. Okay. All right. Does anybody have any questions? Let me look here. Uh, yeah. Mm, chicken? Yummy? Yeah, 5,600. It's crazy. I don't know how that all happened. I think some of it was when, can I move the phone away? Um, I'm about to use the phone and then I'll be muting this. So it should be better in a minute, Matt. Sorry about it. Okay, let me go ahead and turn the camera around. So I'm going to put a screen up so I don't blind you with all my um, moving and all that. <laughs> okay, or I can do this one. Okay, can you guys hear me? Uh, ay, 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 it's like I never did this before.
Okay. Can you guys hear me okay? Can you guys hear me? <laughs> yay, yay. Can you guys hear me? Um, wait a minute. Let me go in comments. I can't tell. You're good on YouTube. Oh, okay. So you hear me? Yes. Okay. Very good. All right. Sorry. There. I thought I would. I'm so used to hearing the feedback. I didn't hear any. And I didn't know if I was even on. Okay. So anyway, I showed you the one that I want to do, or that I did first. All right. And this works and it's fine. But I had to try and get fancy. And it did actually work. And it was kind of cool. It's not as big as I thought, but I could make it better. Okay. All right. Thanks, everybody. Is craft material expensive in America? Yeah. It depends on what you're doing, Seema. It can be. All right. So what I did was I took my die. All right. And first, wait, where is my failed one? All right. Let me show you the different versions that I did. First, I did this one. And I like it, except it kind of doesn't make sense because it doesn't have any, I mean, I could, I could just fold this down and it would work. I could, but then it wouldn't match up in the middle. See what I mean? So I would have to do like a spacer or a label or something, but the way I did it was it would be flat, but that's not going to give me any depth. And the other thing that I didn't like about it, what I did was I just cut two of them and I butted these spines together. I think you can see these bumpy things. I didn't like them sticking up a little bit. And I didn't like this gap here. You know, not that you would absolutely notice it. I really love this paper. This is basic gray and it's like old and I, oh, I, I was sad that I ruined it, but I don't know. Maybe I can use this for something. It laid nice and flat and I like that, but um, I, practically it didn't really work. So I probably could, you know, if I wanted, I could put like a, a piece behind here or on top that would match up. And, you know, I could use it, but I thought, no, change the design a little bit. So let me just show you what we're going to be using. And I don't know if I'm going to get to any fixing up of it, but uh, just so you know, the, all these things go with the folio journal. And this is the base that we're going to use today. Um, the other day we used the wrap journal. It's similar, but it's a different shape and it goes together in a different way. So, um, in my big album, I butted the spines up against each other rather than over. Yeah, that's what I did second time, Chris. Um, this is mat board and that's what I used to cut this out. This is some colored mat board that I have. And just to let you know, it really, this is more expensive. This is like a, um, I don't know what you call it, like a archival. And this really had a lot of issues. I had to sand it and it still doesn't look that hot. It's kind of coming apart here. So I think this mat board actually works better. It cuts better. So this was my kind of second prototype and this worked pretty well. And this is what I am going to do. Um, it's not as long as the other one, but really it only has to hold these cards and maybe a pen or, you know, like a little pocket or something, which should be fine. And so I did decide that I am going to put one pocket over here and then they'll hang out a little bit and that'll be fine, you know. So I am going to cut one of my bottom pieces to uh, include that. I could do both of them, really, because when I open it, I can have full access to this. So maybe I'll put both of them, but, uh, you know, you, you can, you don't have to. But it should fit, uh, won't it fit a five by seven. I, it would be really close. You'd have to close it another way. Maybe you could do a five by seven. Let me see. Yeah, because this is eight, eight and a half, I think, length. So, and an eight, a five and a half by seven or five by seven card, I think the envelope is five and a quarter, which this is. 
So there could be a way you could do that. And yeah, this goes down to eight and a half. So it's possible. But, uh, you know, this is what most people do. And I think if you wanted to do the slim line, the mini slim line, that would fit, but not the full size, unless you pulled it out a little bit, which you also could do. You know, I'm, what my thought was, well, I'll show you when we get there. But also the other thing I discovered was you can make little books just out of that piece that is cut out like this one, you know, and what you would do is this is four and a quarter. So you would just measure four and a quarter over here and cut it. And you've got this cute little book. I mean, we'll, we'll get it. So I'll show you in a minute, but uh, I've got a lot of stuff here. Okay. So this is the uh, waterfall um, and tags die. That is really useful. I've been using that a lot. This is the binding, the book binding. I wouldn't, I'm not going to use that today. I'm not going to bind anything in there. I'm just going to, you know, put cards in a little folder. Um, and this is the pages, which could fit in here if you wanted. Um, and it's got the flowers, which could be used. And then the mandala, I did cut one. Oh, here it is. I did cut one of those and then I don't know what I did to it, but I pulled something off here. So I would have to trim this and kind of do it off center. So this doesn't show, but anyway, I did do one and it actually out of the scrapbook paper, it worked great. Osima wants to visit the U S your panic for the fly in plants is my problem. Well, the flying, yeah, that's, you would have to do that Sima. <laughs> Um, and then the map board. This is what I use to make my book. So let's just go for it. Here. All right. I don't know how this is going to come out. I think it's a miracle I'm here. So <laughs> I make no promises today. All right. So like I said, what we're going to do is we're going to cut one piece for the back for support. And this one, I just cut a piece of mat board that matched this you know, that I cut first. This is five and a quarter by eight and a half. And it should work if we're butting them up because we're going to cut these at four and a quarter. I'll show you. So here is my piece of map board. And I, because I do want these, I'm going to cut that too. So I'm going to go over here and I'm going to measure four and a quarter. And that is where I'm going to line up my mat board. So I'm not going to have to cut this spine. I'm not going to need it. So I might make a mark up here. Maybe I'll put a piece of washi so I know where to line it up right across when I do my next one. So don't be afraid to use your tools here. You know, put a piece of mat. That's not going to matter. Uh, Hopefully that's right. That look right. Let's see, four and a quarter. Yeah. A little bit over. That doesn't matter that much, but I don't want it to be too short or too long. Just right. Okay. So that's where we're going to line up our mat board and we're going to cut two like that. All right. So we're just going to put that on there. This should work theoretically. I might have to trim some stuff off, but that's all right. I have this. <laughs> I know you love when I use it. All right. So here's our cutting pads. I don't know where my good ones went. Just run this through. Now I didn't put paper or anything on here because I thought it would be too confusing. Um, but I'm, I'm going to cut it and put it on after. So now we've got this and this, and I don't know where our little little closure thing went. All right, so we're going to do another one just like that. And I'm going to line that one up. So you could actually letter on this. You could 
you know, you don't have to put paper on or anything really, but you can if you want. It does look nice. And paper is so easy. You don't have to do anything. You just measure it and put it on. What kind of day I'm having. That sounds good. So you can just, you can do it after two. All right. So what I was really trying to do was the mechanics of it, not decorating. You know, just to show you how I arrived at, hopefully, what I get to. So we have two of these, and I did go ahead and cut a piece that was eight and a half by five because I did that on my Mac cutter, and that is right here. So let's just, I think this is it. Let me get rid of this stuff. Would the back of the pocket cuts from the die fit across the back part? Two of the pocket cuts from the die fit across the back. Yeah, probably. Yeah, because they're going to go on the front. Yeah, Leslie. I mean, the trick is to just cut them the same size, front and back. And then, okay, so they're the same height. That's good. And then we're going to have this here, you know, so these are going to meet up in the middle. So hopefully we're good. We'll see. I, you know, I'm telling you, no promises, but <laughs> let's hope. Yes, that's what I was saying, Glum. This does make a cute little book. It's like a fat, like a notebook kind of. Uh, wait, let me just fold these over because we will be doing that. And that was kind of a fun discovery by itself. Yeah, look at that. That is a cute little book. And you know what? It would hold those little notebooks from Dollar Tree. And, I mean, there's not a binding, but so you just put like a, you know, the... Um, where did I put my ponytails? You know, you just use the elastics from Dollar Tree for a, um, you know, binding. So, all right. So let's just bend these up and then I'll just show you what I kind of had in mind. And I wish I'd had more time to get to it, but what are you going to do? So is everybody okay? I hope you're all... I feel like I'm so out of the loop. Yes, the blade. I know. So what we're going to do is just face them. Yeah, that works just right. Look at that. Now, we could go this way, but, well, no, they do butt up pretty well. well that might be. Now, see, I don't know if I'd want to do that because, well, that matches close enough. I mean, you you do have that extra width in here, you know, so it's not exactly perfect. I could trim this down just a tiny bit. So that's an option if I wanted to have a smooth background. But I kind of like the idea of gluing this on here and then covering the whole thing with paper. So I think that's what I'm going to do. A small cut part to make one long pocket. Um... I think so. I'm not sure. My brain is not tra tracking, Leslie. Uh, it does fit this way perfectly. I'm going to go with this. And then the other thing that I was thinking would be fun for closure because it's kind of floppy like this. You know, there's no reason for it to match up. So what I was thinking was is to adhere on one side, just glue that on and then on this side do a magnet under here and a magnet under here and then it should just snap into position and hopefully stay just right and then it would make that nice cool sound so let's just get out let's glue it down and get some papers and just start making stuff because i don't know i just just want to all right so we need there's our other one of these. We need that. And let me just show you these papers. I've been hoarding these forever, but they're so pretty. They reminded me of spring. Um, they're like a kind of a Asian kind of, but also like a cherry blossom. It's not just cute. Not that one so much, but these are other ones. But just this nice distressed. I love basic gray. Did you guys like that? Two of those on long part. Oh, yes. The little things on the bottom. Yes. I think 
Your brain is a slug today while joining the crowd. I'm I'm with you, Leslie. All right, so there's that one. That one I thought was really cute. These, it fooled my eye. They're little hearts. I didn't catch that. This one I loved, of course, and I'm, I'm, I kind of don't want to use it, but I think it goes so pretty with these other ones. This is something, this is what I used. I, it was on my mat after I dyed my um, elastic. Look at how good that matched. Is that not amazing? Oh, and the other thing I wanted to say was some of you that had to wait for the um, the Etsy orders, I gave you a little charm pack and that's what I made with it. So if you want to, we could do like a little mini class and where you could just um, go ahead and put one of those together because I think that came out really cute. And then I just wrapped it around here. This is not fancy, but it's adjustable, so you can kind of go up and down with it. But anyway, that's what I use my uh, blends, and I just had this, and I thought, oh, maybe I need a paper or page or something. It doesn't go with this collection, but it could. Still can't find that little piece. Let me just show you the rest of them while we're at it. They're so pretty, and they're going to be gone soon because I'm going to use them. I mean, why not, you know? Okay, so this is like stickers and, oh no, they're not stickers, they're tags. They're giant tags, little loopy things. Oh, these are cute. Yeah, so these are perforated, so you can punch them out. That's fun. Uh, this is pretty. Wait, let me go this way. That's cool. This is the one that kind of cherry blossom-ish, don't you think? Cherish is the name of it. Um, these I keep because sometimes I use these little strips or those little inchies are kind of cool. Um, that one's pretty too. Kind of an orange. I don't love orange, but that's a nice basic. This is pretty with the pink and the red in it. That's cool. Every one is pretty much, I love it. That's pretty like a wallpaper damask. Yeah, these are so pretty. That's cute too. The brown and pink, I always like that. And that's cute too. That's like, I don't know. I would think that I would like that the best, but I'm, eh, that's pretty. And like another companion one to that other one. That one, I didn't even notice. That's pretty too. And alphabets. So we could put some kind of message on there if we wanted, and then our, our perforated stuff. So, and the other thing that I do like about this, it is not front and back. So I'm not like destroying something that, you know, if it was double-sided, that would kill me. So I didn't do it. This one I cut out of this pink, but it didn't really stand out enough on the cover that I had. So... It might stand out on here, though. You know, that was another thing I was thinking, to take this and back it and then use that as a closure. But you couldn't really get a magnet or anything. It's too fragile. So I said, eh. But I may do something like this off the edge, you know, on either side. I don't know. There's so many possibilities. It's hard to, hard to say what I want to do more. All right, here is our little other piece. So I am going to turn these into little pockets, even though I'm probably only going to use one, even though Leslie wants me to use both, I think. Yeah, 70s wallpaper. Yeah. You like the paper, Seema? It sounds heavy. It's not that heavy. I mean, it's nice, but it's not super duper. It's not like 110 pound. It's maybe 80. It's nice, though. It feels good. All right, we're going to fold both of these up. Just pick which one we like. So if we wanted to close them both in, we could do that. Um, I don't think we need to. And the other thing that we could do, well, we're not going to do it on here, but you could cut these so that these are pockets that you can pull things out of and then, you know, 
but this one we're not closing. It would just be open. So I don't know if that would be so smart. I think I'm going to use my tape to put this together just to make it quick. So I'm going to put some of the red line tape on each of these sides. You can see my scissors I stole from Sizzix. They're the best. They're really good. They're the best because I stole them. <laughs> no, I didn't mean to. Sure. Okay, so there's that. I don't know. Do you think maybe I should close it in? Just trying to think. I'll be opening. Then only this, that would stabilize it. Actually, I think I will do that because that's going to keep both of these sides in place. And then this other one will just have to swing open and close. So I think I should have thought of that, but I thought of it now. So good enough. <laughs> so what are you guys working on? I see all this stuff you're doing in the fan club. It's crazy, cool stuff. All right, so I'm just going to place this right down. Uh, and close that up. I guess one one could cut a separate mat board here to the front of the pocket just so okay my brain cannot get that Leslie all right I just want to gonna stick my head in here I just want this to be even oh it looks pretty good and I would take a bone folder oh working on a seaside folder folio to show Friday oh good Leslie yay Oh, I can't wait to see. All right, so I'm going to just get this other one together. And then, you know what? This is shaping up. I kind of was feeling very lost when we started. <laughs> like, what was I thinking? But it is a good thought. It's just I didn't get far enough. But once, see, once you do something, it's just better. Just got to start. You're working on a colorful diorama. Ooh, you're making a pit picture album totally by hand. No dyes involved. Hardest thing you've ever done. Oh, Lisa, all the measuring. Ooh. Well, it's a good practice. And then you can always go back to your dyes. <laughs> the easy, easy way. What else? Birthday card for your somebody, Barbara. All right, let's see. Let's just slide this in here and that should work, right? <laughs> should work. No. Mm. It wasn't flat. All right, I'm going to type my thing and maybe because I didn't. Oh, yeah, it gave a little so because I hadn't pressed it all the way. So that was not a good move because I could I didn't make sure it was all the way and I could have shifted it down a little, but it it's good. It's fine. So now I've got a pocket for my little book. So I probably should add paper while I you know, look at that. That's gonna look be that that will be great. And then you just open this and you take your cards out. Wait, let's put, let's take a look here. Where I put them? Where my cards are. I got a pile of them. Oh, here they are. So I would tie them up with something. Actually, yeah, you do need something to cover them. But this being under here, that's fine. All right. And then you just close them. And I think that will work with your... Yeah, we'll just put the little magnet on here and that should work fine. So then though, how are we going to, hmm, no, I don't know if that's going to work because that's got to bend when you open it. So maybe I would just tie it. I would just put like two little ribbons here or seam binding or something and tie it right there. 
but I mean, not saying this could work with a different kind of book. If we hadn't closed it in and they were kind of caving in like they were, then I would say, uh, it's not going to work. So let's, um, let's think about what we want to cover it with. So I think I want my two covers to be the same, although it would be cool if they were separate, but I do like this pattern. That's kind of a, uh, there's kind of a lot going on. I might do maybe a dark color and then that doily I could put on. Maybe that one that was gray or blue, brown and nothing with lines that might get messed up. This one, that's cute because that's got the pink. Let's do that. All right, let me get my cutter pillar. So I'm just going to measure. These should be five and a quarter by four and a quarter. Let's see. Four and a quarter. A little less than five and a quarter. All right. We can always sand them down, but um, this is, I got this old paper trimmer, but I'm not going to use it. I'm in a rush. So five and a quarter. How do you close it in? Somebody on YouTube is asking, and I don't know where to comment on that. I am sorry. Wait a minute. Let me let me see if I can go to that. All right, Kim. Let me see. How do you close it in? Uh oh, that's on a different. They're watching a different thing. Hopefully, I can find you again. Uh oh. Yes, here we go. Whew. I thought I lost you there. <laughs> okay, so five and a quarter by four and a quarter. So let's do the four and a quarter because we know we have room to get both of those. All right, and now five and a quarter. They're probably not going to match up, but I'm not worried about that, especially. Last thing on my list of worry. All right, so that should be good. Yep. Okay. We might want to cut them a little bit shorter because I said it was a little less than five and a quarter. I don't really want white showing because I can always distress kind of in around the edge of the book, but I don't really want it going over because then you have, it looks messy. All right. So that's good. All right, so what do we want to put down here? I would need another five and a quarter for that in a little strip. That is, so two of these, I think I'll do a different pattern. That's three quarters of an inch. So I'm gonna do it a little bit less and I'm gonna change my patterns. Maybe I'll use some of the stuff I already have. Now this would look nice inside. It's festive. All right, so I'm gonna do a little less than five and a quarter. And a little less than four and a quarter. A little less, all right, so this was three quarters, so I'm gonna go here. And then I'm gonna trim a little off because it's easier that way than cutting just a three inch strip or a three quarters of an inch strip. And let's see, that might be a little long, a little wide. Yeah. All right. So we'll trim a little off there. So do you guys measure like that? Like three, three and three quarters minus one or smaller, or in your head, you're like, ah, eh, shave a little off. Okay. All right, and what else? Then we have, well, we didn't cover in here, but you know, that's all right. That's gonna be bulky. There's gonna be cards going in and out. I'm all right with that. I could have. And then the back, which is gonna be five and a quarter by eight and a half. So what do we want to do on the back? Maybe this one. This kind of goes. And this is also doesn't matter. 
orange, which is nice. Gotta love those. So I'm just gonna go eight and a half here. And five and a quarter. A little bit less. Okay. All right. Let's see how this comes out. <laughs> May not work. Hope it does. All right. This is shaping up. I'm glad. Um, all right. Let's see your new comments because I'm. That's exactly how you measure. <laughs> a little bit here. A little more here. A little less here. I think I got that when I was doing mat cutting and in my head it was like I I don't like to think of sixteenths of inches so it's like eh, one tick down you know all right so we could use I'm just gonna use glue all uh oh mm. Well, I'm feeling better about this. I kind of felt like I didn't have a plan coming in, but shaping up. You guys are helping me. Thank you. Hot in California. It's not hot here. It was just nice, though, today. It's like perfect, really. All right. That looks pretty good for the back. And this will not be seen trying to think if there's some way to do like a cool little pocket or something, but I don't think that's going to work. So that's all right. We'll just do our little thing here. Maybe it'll match up. Kind of. Good enough. And I mean, we could have put this on in the beginning, but there's kind of a lot of angles and, you know, it, it might've been flipped and then we'd have to worry about things not matching up and it's just less stress this way to measure and just do it that way. All right. We just want to make sure those two are butting up and look good. It's nice to have options, you know. This is really not that hard to do. Especially fun to play around. I think I'm inspired by all you guys in the fan club that are making, like, Julie Krugshank doing her little rooms and, you know, people making just different things. You know, man, this stuff is so quick to set up. So I feel like a dud if I'm just making a book. <laughs> Boring. But it is nice because this stuff is so thick. You really can do a lot. All right. Oh, I didn't. Okay. So I just need a strip. Maybe I'll do that one. I already planned to use that on the inside. Oh, let me just cut that strip. I'll do that after. Because inside are the ones that'll be a little trickier. All right. Hopefully that fits because I didn't really look. Oop, went over the edge. Here in New York City, it was 80 degrees. Wow. Ugh. I can wait for that. The beach was perfect. And we were on that ferry. Oh, it was so nice. We got a big old pretzel. Ugh, it's delicious. All right. Now, the only thing is we don't want to have bulk here. So this is actually like perfect. Look at that. It even matches up. Let's see. I hate that when things get, you know, in the corners. I think that's just right, though. Uh, I'm tempted to trim it off, but I don't think I want to mess with it today. 
yeah, it was really nice for the funeral and it was in a beautiful cemetery. That was nice. And my kids were there and it was just, you know, it had to be a funeral. It was a pretty nice one. He would have liked it. And the best thing is mom is really handling it, but you know, he had been kind of sick for a while. So it's kind of like she was grieving already and she was part of the way done, you know, <sighs> but it's still, she's lonely, you know, they were married 34 years. Okay. It is a little bit yucky down here. Ugh. Okay, I should have, yeah, look at that. Did you, uh, I might have to peel that up and trim it. I can't stand it. <laughs> Let me get out trimmer number 95. I'm just going to take a little of this off. not going to look as nice, but it's not going to be all crinkled up. You're expecting snow in Ohio? What? That's nuts. You've, uh, you're making some sort of folio style journal. That's correct. This is actually going to be a stationary folio. And we're using a book die to do it. Yeah, that's better. Yeah, I just can't stand it. Okay, yeah, that's cute. And this we will see because we're kind of opening and closing. What I did with the other one, um, this one, is it this one? Yeah, in these corners here, I took some of my blends. This one is uh, Wildberry. And that one matched really not pretty nicely. And I just took my water brush and took a little ink and went down the seams to make it blend in a little better. So you can do that. I might do it. I don't know. All right. So now what do we have to do? We're just going to... What else? Well, we have these little, little edges here. You know... So one, two, three, four. So those are just trimming out little, I think I'll do this. Or wait a minute, this, well, that's kind of sideways. So let's just cut some strips and I'll trim them down. You have to watch till the end and see. Sorry, Neva. Yeah, you are, you're making some folio. I OCD, <laughs> I know, I do, I admit it. Not with a lot of things, but just some things. You can't help it. All right, let's see if that works. That's not bad. Yep. All right, let's do another one. Do a couple of them just so we have them. And yesterday I cleaned out all my cabinets and got rid of like old salad dressing and you know stuff from 2016 <laughs> i just hadn't we have one of those you know the corner cabinet and stuff gets pushed to the back it drives me crazy but like uh, i felt very good about accomplishing that though all right so i'm just gonna kind of place these down and that i'm gonna bring it to the end and then just give it a little fold and then I'm going to cut before it. Hopefully that's good. That looks all right. Same thing here. Yeah, that's pretty good. All right, we're coming along. I don't know if we're going to finish, but, and I think we might as well glue these on while we're at it. And I could have gone a little further down, but 
I don't really look on the side too much. Get the idea. All right. And I should have placed these down inside a little further, but I was too timid and then messed it up, but it's not a big deal. It still works. All right, and this is going to get glued down. And then I just have one more strip here. Now that maybe should be a little bit thicker. Eh, that's fine. See, I don't have OCD, Leslie. <laughs> oh, and then my daughter called me today, the photographer daughter in Connecticut, and she saw a studio, and I think she's going to rent it. She wasn't going to do it. She's got the four kids, and she's like, they had a home studio, and it was working out pretty well, but then she saw this old barn in Connecticut, and she's like, I think I have to get it. So she... It's going to go to town and it's coming undone a little, so I'm going to, all right, we're almost done. We're just going to glue it out. Let me see. These comments are not advancing. You need some self-care and downtime. Yes. I need to purge clothes closet. Yeah, that too. Ugh. I'm afraid to throw anything out. I. I don't want to get to another size. <laughs> All right. This is, that's cute. Oh, one more. Shoot. Oh, another one that size. All right. Okay. I can do that. This one I'm going to go three quarters. Ah. <sighs> OCD is great while you're done. <laughs> yes, correcting problems is not an issue. Many problems to be corrected. But you know what? You don't have to worry about it. It's like, it's not like you've ruined the whole book. You haven't. And it's just, so you just fix it. And, you know, it could be more interesting than when you started. Like, honestly, I wasn't sure how this was going to go, but I'm kind of liking it. And mostly because I just love this paper and I'm happy that I used it, you know? Okay. All right. There we go. All right. Now, uh, I should punch holes maybe. Uh, really not sure what I want to do here, so it doesn't look even. It's close enough, though. Um, I do kind of wish those matched up, but oh well. All right, so I'm going to glue this down. I can always add those ties. It won't be a hard thing to do. Yeah, the paper is fun. I wish they were still around. Graphic 45. It's, I mean, that was how long ago? And it's still pretty. It's classic. All right. I'm just plopping them down and then I'm going to line them up. Ooh, whoa. So I know that the ground, the, you know, the bottom is matched up. Yeah, that's cute. And this is all straight. So that's good. There we go, guys. All right. That was a miracle. I would say, <laughs> yes, basic gray. Joanne had a good suggestion to fix the open and closing with the magnet. Adhere magnet left side. Flip it over so cards are held in the right side. All right. Wait a minute. I can still use the magnets um, like this. All right. So what I was thinking... See, the only, I guess I could slide that out, but I'm afraid if I, oh, put the magnet here. Oh, I see what you're saying. And then lift. Yes. Okay. Let's try it because I brought my magnets. Who knows where they went? These little horn tins. Speaking of basic gray, these are not them, but they had them. They stick to everything though. 
They drive you crazy. Can't get them apart. That's why I had to put them in a magnetic thing. All right, so this I would glue on. Yeah. And then just, yeah, lift that up. Yes. Oh, thank you. That was a good idea. All right, then I'm just going to glue this on. I'll figure it out. Might have to let that sit for a minute. Yes, I like that. Magnets make such a good sound, don't they? No picture. What? Mitsuyana? Now no picture? Can you guys see me? Wait, stop. Your feed froze. Wait, what's happening here? Uh, can you guys see? New comments. I'm back. Oh, okay. All right. Okay. All right. That looks good. All right. So I would put one here and... All right, so this will go under there and this will go on here. I think I'm just gonna, I'll stick that on with this for now underneath. And then I'm gonna put washi tape over it so it stays because sometimes they like to, they're so strong that they're hard to keep in one spot. And it might be a little tricky to match them up. I could put it right at the end. Whoa, there we go. All right, what I usually do to line them up uh, is I'll put a little washi tape on the back of this. This is always tricky. Depends on if you're doing it right directly on here, but I like to do it under. These are so strong that they will, um, pull stuff off. All right, wait a minute. This goes like this. All right, so if I... Let's see. Nope, wrong side. Sorry, guys. I have not even looked up to see what I'm doing here. This should be okay on the inside. I just, oh. <laughs> all right, so that goes there. So then this is going to want to hold that in like that. And then I'm just going to kind of estimate where this might be and I can kind of scooch it around, hopefully. See, I probably should have done this. All right, so the magnet is right here. So I'm just going to kind of I need tweezers or something. Yeah, this was not the best way. But I've given up the thought of doing the magnet, so I'm happy. Oh. Yeah. Look at that. Oh, it's perfect. And then, you know, what you could do is make matching cards out of your scraps and stuff and do them inside. Okay, you hear me fine. Oh, good. Okay, I'm the sweating. Put red tape on the magnet, then stick it down. Yeah, put a dot of ink on the stuck one, then close to see where the others go. Oh, that would be smart. I already did it. <laughs> Measure out on decorative tab. See, all of you guys... All right, that, you know, somehow God was looking after me. <laughs> he said, give her a break. It's a rough day. So that may not be directly under there, but it's close enough that it's hooking up with it. Let's see. It's pretty close. I think it's a little low, but that's all right. It's holding it. So then we can just take our cards. Oh, I love how that works. Oh, this was going to be a disaster and it turned out okay. Hallelujah. Yep. So we just put our, I would put these in an envelope or something or because this, I don't want to get stuck. You know, we've got, the thing about it is we've got these tabs here on the side. So think of how many you can fit and then put them in like an envelope or something and then stick them in. But 
Yes. And you still have room to do your pens. You could do the little pocket. Oh, for your stamps. Wait a minute. Let's just do a quick pocket because I need to finish something today. And I'm going to do it out of this pretty paper. Can you stick? With oh, this, we're way long. Oh, you know what? This is, but oh, one little, one little pocket. Come on. We can do this. All right. There's the die. Get my magnetic thing. We've got the paper. I'm going to use that. I like that grungy stuff. There's another one. I bent one, but it should work. Oh, I love it. And I think I even have some love stamps. I might have used them though. But here's the pages pocket thing. And yes, or it could go over here actually. Let's see. Let me see if I have them. I got some really cute bunny stamps at Easter time. I think maybe over there. Let me see what I have. All right, I've got, oh, these are pretty. Got the barn. I do have some love that, that goes. And these, any of these really. I did have the little dotted ones though. I kind of like them, I think this will work. Look at that. Adorable. Let me glue it down before I change my mind. And then I would just set something on it, you know, to hold it down. Yeah. And then I could put my pens there. That's good. Yay. Oh, you guys, thank you for sticking with me. Sorry it took so long. If I weren't watching you, I'd be watching Jeopardy. Oh no. Ooh, ooh. I don't know. You better go watch that. Look at that though. It's perfect. And then you could put the person's name on there. Wouldn't that be cute? Oh, I'm excited. I'm happy. Thank you guys. This does need a little more, but uh, I'm good with it. It mechanically works. And that's what I was worried about. All right, I got to go, guys. This is um, so sorry that I held you up for so long, but thank you for being along with me and making our little folio, and it worked. So I'll show you. I'll put up some pictures when I figure out how to do the pens. What I might do, and this has, I've done this before, is I'll take a little piece or um, some double sided tape and kind of fold this over and then just do little loops. And it holds, it It really does keep its shape pretty well. And then you can mold it to the, um, you know, your pens that you have. And I do one on the top, one on the bottom, and then you just slip it out. Anyway, okay. All right. Well, thanks, guys, for coming. I'll see you on Thursday. And um, I'll talk to you later. All right. Thanks so much for hanging out with me. All right. Let me see how you close this crazy thing and broadcast. Farewell.